Well, it was amazing because I thought about moving my arm and it did. I could move it in and out, up and down. We've been able to take the electrical signals which represent his thoughts and use that to control stimulation of his arm and his hand. We've bridged his spinal cord injury. He can now think about moving his arm and his arm moves. And it's pretty cool. I get to be the first one in the world to do it. He has a severe spinal cord injury. He is pretty much paralyzed from the top of his shoulders down. I remember up to the accident, and then after that, I remember bits and pieces. I was on a 150-mile bicycle ride. It was raining really badly. I was following a mail truck, and I was keeping my distance pretty good. But then it stopped to deliver a package. I ran right into the back of the mail truck. People have to do stuff for me that I can't do myself. They have to turn me every two hours. If I want water, they have to give me water. This research has enhanced my ability to be able to do things. For the first time, we've implanted brain recording electrodes in a person and an FES system. Functional electrical stimulation has been implanted as well. I learned about this research through one of the doctors at the VA. My father said, you really want to do this? I said, yes. Somebody has to do research. If nobody does research, things don't get done. Now we can tell the world. It's possible to reconnect the brain and make the arm move again. The participant also uses a mobile arm support to uh, support his arm against gravity. But that mobile arm support is also under cortical control, meaning by thinking about it, he causes the mobile arm support to raise and lower his shoulder. I'm still wowed every time I do something amazing. I ate a pretzel. I drank water. It really got good. One day, they had some mashed potatoes. Lo and behold, I was able to eat the mashed potatoes really well. It provides a demonstration of feasibility so that advances that are needed to make this more clinically uh, acceptable can be made. There is room for significant growth. We are just at the forefront of really understanding um, how the brain functions, how to take advantage of our knowledge and could see exponential growth. I'm always wanting them to do more. Seeing the possibility is one of the biggest goals. You know, yes, I'm injured, but it's not like my life stopped when I got injured. It's gonna help out a lot more people for years to come.